Right. Mr. Speaker, I thank the gentleman for organizing this time on the floor today to focus on the opioid crisis in our country. For many years, telehealth has been a priority for me as a critical way to deliver health care services to patients across the country. Through my work as chairman of the Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations, I now view telehealth as an important part of the solution to the opioid crisis as it increases patient access to needed treatments and improves outcomes through the availability of better health care services to more patients. Congresswoman Matsui of California and I have been working on drafting a bill to increase access to substance use treatment through the use of telehealth in community mental health centers. Each year, 64,000 Americans die from overdose. In rural, underserved states like my home state of Mississippi, this threat is especially concerning as patients often lack access to addiction and psychiatric health care providers equipped to provide needed treatments. The concerns are great. Therefore, Congresswoman Matsui and I have been working to draft legislation that would enable local facilities to register with the Drug Enforcement Administration and be able to use telemedicine to prescribe appropriate treatments for patients in need. Mississippi has been recognized as a leader in using telehealth to reach patients who otherwise would not have access to care. The University of Mississippi Medical Center, their Center for Telehealth, was selected as a National Telehealth Center of Excellence by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to innovate and test new delivery models for telehealth. With leaders like the University of Mississippi Medical Center working to maximize available resources and provide care via telehealth, I believe that this technology offers a promising solution to combat the opioid crisis in our country. I look forward to continuing to work with my colleagues on the Energy and Commerce Committee to advance these efforts. Mr. Speaker, I thank Chairman Walden and Chairman Burgess for their dedication to this issue and many others, of course. I appreciate the opportunity to speak, and I yield back the balance.